Hey guys, it's Sharice from uh, well, Crazy Critters. And uh, I was going to go down to the nursery and show you some of the treasures that Ken found today. Mostly succulents and cactus. So what do you say? We go down and look at our plant stock for today. Uh, today is Friday. Thank you for everybody who's come out this week. Uh, tomorrow is Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday we're open 10 to 4. So let's go down and see what kind of treasures we have. We finally got Nyla's enclosure put together, but uh, we never got to the scrap metal place yet, so that's still to come to clean up this area. But still, we did get her enclosure put on this concrete slab. Now we gotta get her a little dog bed elevated and water bowl and such, so it'll be on another day. Yes, treasures for somebody else, all uh, going to the scrap yard really soon. So if you're looking for junk filler, let us know. Uh, parts, wheels, hubcaps, seats, uh, you know, we have uh, decks, steering wheels. Hit us up, maybe we can hook you up. Lots of people notice Grandpa. Uh, we hatched him out when our son was just about four years old, which makes him about an 18-year-old rooster. We have a uh, two, three, and four inch terracotta pots for sale. Dwarf Cavendish banana. Ooh, Java banana. Truly tiny bananas. Turkey Mountain figs that had figs on them last month. Lavender sweet blooms. Uh, you know, people often ask the secret of lavender, and I would say full sun let dry out oh, mostly before watering. Oh, make sure that you buy a species that is for your area here in Florida. So there's lots of lavenders that live other places, but not in your well, let's area. Let's see. I don't even know where to begin. The nursery's just so full. What do you think? Full of treasures. So do you want to start with Hoya, Philodendron, prayer plants? We'll start with prayer plants. This week we have White Fusion, Yellow Fusion, Pinstripe Ornata, White Star, Beauty Star, Peacock, Cora, Rattlesnake, Red Maranta, Galaxy Star Stramanthi, Trio Star Stramanthi, and maybe one or two other ones tucked in there. Black Velvet Alocasia, Poly Alocasia, Hilo Beauty Alocasia, Mojito Calocasias, Black Painted Gecko Calocasia, Super Bum Anthurium, Exotica Silver Satin Scanopsis. We also have the Argaris, if that's how you pronounce it. Argaris, how do you say it? Anyways, we have the Argaris Gynopsis. We have Cebu Blue Pothis. Neon Pothis. Marble Queen Pothis. This one actually has some pretty white on it. Raffidora Decursiva. Price went down. These are $20 now. Raffidora Haiti. Monstera Peru. Monstera Siam, Monstera Dubia. Pretty large. Lemon Lime Philodendron. Oh, fabulous silver sword. $100, of course. It's fabulous. Look at the size of the leaves. Perkins Philodendron. Golden Melanani. Congo Apple. Philodendron Melanani. Jungle Boogie Philodendron, Swiss Cheese Philodendron, Prince of Orange, this one is a better looking Prince of Orange, Bloody Mary Philodendron, and look at the leaf size on this Bloody Mary, I mean it's just darn right huge. Little Tuscany Peperomia, Quito Peperomia, Luna Gray Peperomia, mm, is that called the Gray Fox? I don't know. I'll put it right here, whatever this one is. This one too. I'm having a brain. You know. You know me. I'll put it right here what this one is. Beautiful. Lots of blooms. So, Pepperomia selection. 
Got some Arizona barrel cactus. Beautiful Madagascan palm. Got some tiger jaws. Prickless prickly pear. Old man cactus. Monkey tail cactus. Rice paper cactus. Looks deadly, but these are actually pretty soft. And you have cactuses that are about to bloom. Sausage spur spurge euphorbias. Or this might be octopus ser serpent, I'm not sure. 250 succulents. We have some different sedums. Echeverias. Hypervivums. Pannoniums. Melancholies. We have purebreds and hybrids. Everybody loves the Von Amberg Echeveria. I think more people like the Ruffled Echeveria though. Desert Roses, we still have quite a good selection. Uh, most of them have opened up since our update a few days ago. $18, by the way. We have Lifesaver Cactus, Red Dragonflower, Trailing Jade, String of Dolphins, Bigger String of Dolphins, String of Rubies, Variegated String of Hearts, Regular string of hearts, string of turtles, butterfly begonia, starry begonia with blooms, ghost aloe, snow aloe, spiral aloe, uh, sorry, aloe, which has ants in it, so I gotta spray. Soap aloe, tiger jaw aloe, aloe vera, starfish sansevieria, bird's nest sansevieria. One dollar spathophyllium, rick rack cactus, or night blooming rick rack, and queen of the night, the bromeliad, your rope, super nice macrophylla, established brutidae, linaris, princess, with bloom, queen. Wrinkle 8, Wyeti, Variegated Heart, Variegated Kentiana, a small starter of Koreana, Oya Lacanosa, should be Lacanosi, could try to get some light in there, Oya Lacanosa, Oya Australis, Splash Publixi, Pecolata, with blooms, about to open up. Carnosa. Carnosa hybrids. Alright y'all, you guys have to Google our address anytime. We're at 22919 County Road 44A in Eustis, Florida. And today's Friday night. And they're doing actually road work. I think they're going to be done. but So our hours for Saturday and Sunday are 10 to 4. Um, we are cash only, so you got to stop at the ATM before coming out. But you have to remember, all your proceeds go directly to nonprofit Animal Care Crazy Critters, Inc. I'm not exactly going to say that when you shop at big box stores, are you? Plus, you come here and save money. Because we're supported by some of the best community and the most awesome nursery people. There's super good deals on some pretty rare plants. We sell mostly indoor or air purifiers, lots of edibles too, large guava for example. And a lot of new people today and they were wondering what the heck Crazy Critters is, so I um, thought I would come in and explain it. Most of you might know what we do, some of you might not. Uh, we help people with exotic animals, mostly turtles. That's what we kind of specialize in. Uh, so we basically help people with turtles. Uh, tortoises too. Exotic, not native. Do not call us with gopher tortoises. That is not a gopher tortoise. Jamie is, no, that's Jamie's wife. Jamie's wife is a Salkata. Another one over there. Not a gopher tortoise. So we do, we help with exotic animals. And then we either put them in captive breeding. Captive breeding programs are pretty important. Lots of turtles are actually endangered of becoming extinct. Because they get poached from the wild. And then they often get turned into pets when they're stolen from the wild. So captive breeding programs are important for that reason, so that way people have pet turtles to purchase that were born in captivity and not stolen from the wild. Makes sense, right?
Turtles are actually becoming extinct faster than any species on the planet. So once a turtle's been raised in captivity and an owner can no longer care for it, we help them rehome it so that way nobody has to release their turtles. Don't judge me by my sour soap. It got actually some kind of like scaly thing this week, but we took care of it with blue dawn dish soap. So yeah, turtles is our specialty, and we're the, we got the best supporters. They're always gifting us the best plants that help us raise money and use in the turtle greenhouse to help the residents feel nice, peaceful, and calm. Providing the most natural living we can, well for a turtle anyway. Does it suck that captive born turtles aren't in the wild? Well yeah, I suppose so. Well, let's see. So sparky. She was actually wild caught, made a pet, and the owner outgrew her. So it was pretty negative effect I suppose. But guess what? She's not worried about predators and she always has food. We can debate it all day long, but there's a place in hearts for reptiles. People love reptiles. Military people are your biggest reptile owner group. Guys are actually lucky. It's time to feed the turtles. Here's Speedy. He was a wild caught tur a turtle, a Florida box turtle, and raised really wrong. Look, he has pretty bad MBD. MBD is when a turtle is raised in a shell and everything is not grown properly. He actually is rounded out. He used to be very flat like a table. But with good sunlight and good diet, he's doing much better. The turtles are finding new protection uh, here in the state of Florida and all over the world. As the world tries to protect wild populations. Many turtles, it's illegal to uh, put, uh, import into the country or even cross state lines. Some turtles you could bring in with legal import papers. And some are listed on CITES. Oh, hold on, you can't see them. Some are listed on CITES. Still can't see them. Some are prohibited and you can't even own. They're so excited to see me. They're going to take a minute to start eating their food. Like red eared sliders. Like I said, military people are the biggest group who are taken and care for uh, reptiles. They say it just makes them feel better to be uh, to raise something that they need and that they can take with them. There's a frog right there. You see it? Some turtles are protected just because they look like other kind of turtles. Cooters. You're not allowed to take cooters out of the wild because the peninsula cooter is protected. Three striped mud turtles found new protections recently. They're not allowed to take them out of uh, the wild. Some breeding programs are rather easy and others are hard. Lots of times we just walk out and find baby turtles walking around these enclosures. And you can bet that hard work pays off and we produce some of the healthiest turtles you can get. And it's a true passion for sure. We're building a community that can continue to help each other, provide better pet care, help each other out in a time of need. The thing is, we're here to provide uh, education at each time of uh, sale of service. I think education is very important when it comes to animal care. Look, our Hoya macrophylla is blooming. Can you appreciate that? I don't know if it's clear enough. Super cute. Always telling people the color of my macrophylla leaves are so bright. There's proof. Well, that was one type of commercial pellet. That's a Missouri pellet. Then once that's done, then we feed the crock bite, giving everybody an option to choose what they want. As you can imagine, it's not cheap, but because we have the best support. Billy, really, what's your other option? Uh, you go to Lowe's and buy a plant and support whatever they support, or Walmart, who steals insurance and people and all that stuff. So. Or just come to the Crazy Plants Nursery because we really cash only. Stop at the ATM on your way in.